Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about HTTP clients. So the first one, what is HTTP client and how to use HTTP client, how to send data to you and throw data in HTML tables. So what is HTTP client? HTTP client, it means that we use it to communicate with another website like uh, it means that we use it to make a request to another website and get the response uh, it means that get the data for example like you want to get the data from uh, amazon.com from another website okay so we need http client so now let's go to see the example together here is my API, okay, here is my API, I will take all of the data to display on my project in here. So let's go to practice together. Now I create one controller, PHP, my addition, sorry, addition makes controller you put the controller name in here. I use um, customer controller. Okay, just enter it. Mm -hmm. Now we go to controller. Here is customer controller. Click on it. I create one function. Function. So function is get data API. For example. Okay, so I just make a return. Okay, in here I need to import the API. The three import the HTTP client. So use eliminate slash support and Fed cast HTTP. Okay, so here I just return HTTP gets. Here you put the API URL. Okay, so I copy my API URL. Here is my API. So copy it and pass in here. Sorry. Okay. So I create one route for this function. We go to route web dot php and then I create route get you put URL name we call customers controller name customer controller class and you put function name get data api okay so so let test with this around Yes, my project slash customer as okay you see here now we get the data from the API but it's not the beautiful display we need to display it on HTML form okay so we go to our project again and we create one view so we go to resources you right click we create like customer list customer list dot blad dot php so I write here is each one 
and yeah, this is user sorry customer list save it and I move to yes we need to create one parameter collection equal http dot get http dot get here yes. okay and then here we change it to return to you you put you name you name it is customer list and you put the data collection so here the key collection data collection here okay so we move to you customarily and I want to show the collection data sorry save it then I refresh it okay you see here and now I want to create delete this we create one table so I copy each so the first is ID name genders and address so we forgot to put TR And now we loop for data collection. So we use for each loop for each for each collection. Yes, item. So we copy this and save it. And now I try to refresh it again. Okay, now it's become better. So I want to show the data. So you see here. Let me can show data collection. So ID, name, address, gender. So put here item and then id so refresh it it's errors let me check it so it's got an error let me check we go to the api okay so i just want only this data so maybe i go to uh, controller and here we need to add only data here so okay we put this and we move to list and refresh it again okay it's can correct here sorry it's the wrong place yeah it's correct so i change this to name genders and 
refresh save it and refresh okay that's fine so you need to put the borders stage border okay refresh it sorry maybe I put the wrong sorry maybe we put border in here just walk one like this here refresh it again okay that's fine so is how to get the data from API so that's all for my presentation and we will see you on the next video so thank you for watching